other continuous integration tools. They're all open source software, which is great, but that sort of comes with some of the responsibilities of you need to really dig to figure out how to manage it correctly, how to set things up. So that was probably the biggest disadvantage of, you know, it's a collection of open source tools that didn't have the proper documentation that we needed to, to move forward. So once we started looking at you guys in GitLab, um, you know, it, it really enabled us to consolidate those things, all the documentation was in one place, the services that were available. Um, it, it was really easy to figure out what we needed to do. And your guys' support has been uh, a big help as well. Um, and enabling us to you know, rapidly deliver and stand up these environments. Our collective vision within Moncton and working with you guys and all these other companies is how do we automate and take out uh, human error from the equation? So our goal is the moment code is checked in and has been reviewed, the testing life cycle, the deployment life cycle, the security vulnerability scanning life cycle should all be automated. So it's more of humans reviewing reports at the end versus people having to do the inspections themselves, uh, validate uh, you know, parts of the development life cycle where our, our, we really envision that these tools can do a much better job than humans can. They should be used to aggregate these results and let humans make decisions and you know, take people out of that equation. You know, we're not trying to take you, you know, replace human jobs, but how can we repurpose people to do what people do best versus you know, laborious efforts like um, pen testing mobile applications or pen testing web applications. A lot of that stuff can be automated um, through scripting, tools like Amazon Device Farm, all of which GitLab can automate and push out. So, we're, we're focusing on what tools can we bring in to automate that process, tie them into GitLab, and uh, you know, automate everything, or virtually everything. <laughs> this was a good opportunity for us to go in and sort of do an audit to see what are our gaps in our development pipeline where we need to fill in of, you know, is it code scanning with Fortify? or additional code scanning, you guys might be able to offer through some of the tools that are embedded in uh, your guys' uh, product. Um, but it's given us, you know, it, it, it added, we added time onto migrating over simply because it was a good opportunity to improve processes while we're going through that migration. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, you know, we're, we're looking at it as it's an opportunity to improve uh, the, the outcomes at the end. I look at that as it's not only really not learning opportunity for our customers, but it's a learning opportunity for us to what are the best practices that we can, you know, collectively share. And even with you know you guys of you know there might be things that we're all collectively learning that we can you know help the community together because you know this is this isn't just a you know, proprietary company effort on our end or your guys end or even our customers end. It's I, I look at all it's a big learning experience for all of us to improve processes security compliance and everything that goes along with that.